How's it going everyone? My name is Tavarish and this is my second channel where we take a more behind the scenes and relaxed look at stuff I do on my main channel. Now, some of you may have seen the video where we take this car to SEMA and one of the big parts of that video was making an exhaust. We made an exhaust from scratch. And when I say we, I mean a guy named Chris. He came all the way from Canada and he came to the garage. It's not a coincidence that I'm wearing the unobtainium welding apron because Chris is an absolute animal when it comes to welding. He's been welding his entire life. And I wanted to show you guys the entire process of making a $20,000 to $30,000 exhaust for this car made out of stainless steel, made out of titanium and completely bespoke for my p1 evo so because we were planning on pretty big power we're going to start with four inch right four off inch. the turbine and then as we come into the exhaust we'll taper into three and a half and we'll do it a three and a half inch titanium x pipe okay so we're doing like an x pipe so it it's it's gonna it's gonna look fantastic yeah and we're using all uh tycon products um and he's gonna be tig welding this entire thing now that i have the engine in the car he can actually start work he got here yesterday and I told him I was gonna have the engine in the car yesterday. You're patiently waiting. Yes, I am. Hopefully a couple hours. That's all, he, that's all? a couple hours? Yeah, I'm hoping so. <laughs> that was not the truth. Uh, we just got it in today, and now we have to scramble to get these in. But uh, he is the man for the job, and if you ever need a really good, really amazing sounding and performing exhaust, definitely hit up Unobtainium Welding and Unobtainium Exhaust. Uh, the link will be in the description below. All right, you have some work ahead of you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sit down. Whew. <laughs> so it seems like Chris has his hands full and he definitely knows what he's doing. And that means I have a little bit of downtime, which means I get to play War Thunder, today's sponsor. So if you haven't heard of War Thunder, then you are in luck because it perfectly captures the scale and sensation of fierce battles using military equipment. The list of available tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships includes all iconic machines and lesser known prototypes from the mid 20th century to the present. And the graphics, the physics, and the sound in War Thunder are constantly improving. So the game looks stunning and allows players to immerse themselves in the atmosphere of a real war with the dynamics of a Hollywood blockbuster. And if you're a fan of military vehicles, you'll love how detailed every element of the equipment is in War Thunder, both visually and in gameplay, making each machine distinct in battle and having unique features. So if you're a fan of military vehicles like I am, you will love how detailed every element of the equipment is in War Thunder. And all advanced military technologies are available. That means guided missiles, active protection systems, smoke screens, night vision devices, and more as well as reconnaissance and strike drones, and even a nuclear strike that can flatten the entire map. War Thunder allows you to play the way you want. Break through the front line in a tank, cover ground vehicles from a helicopter, or participate in fighter battles among the clouds. And just like a real war, different types of equipment fight together on the same map. Now all vehicles in the game can be upgraded and improved with additional modules. And War Thunder offers a huge amount of visual customization elements and skins allowing you to make your combat machine unique. And thanks to War Thunder's unique damage model, there's no need for health bars. Every hit on the enemy has a unique effect. Disable their track and you immobilize the opponent. If you hit the plane's fuel tank, it'll ignite. Each hit is visualized with an X-ray mode. And there are a ton of really awesome locations. There's deserts, forests, snow-covered mountains, and each map is inspired by real-world locations and the diverse landscapes and unique features make every battle unique. And they just added some insane advanced military equipment. So you have the famous T-90M, the Su-27, the new modification of Abrams Tusk II, the legendary fighter Gripen, and the F-15 Eagle. The explosion and fire effects have been completely reworked and the new Volcano Valley map for air battles inspired by Kamchatka allows you to test the latest aircrafts in battles among volcanoes. Now you can download War Thunder for free by using the link in my video description below. All new players and those who haven't played War Thunder for half a year or more will receive some special bonuses. Rentals for the P-40E1 aircraft and M4 tank for a week, along with free unique skins for them, a special decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, three premium vehicles for free, a week of premium account, and even more gifts. And you should hurry up because the American vehicle bonus season is ending soon. Go check out War Thunder right now. Now it's my turn. And it is tight. Oh boy. There's a lot of tube to fit in a very small hole off of these turbos. That's what she said. <laughs> 
But we're gonna do our best and we'll make it a centerpiece for SEMA hopefully. Okay, so we're just starting to mock up our V-band flanges here. We have our transition done from four inch down to three and a half to transition into the titanium. So now I'm just measuring up my straight and then I'll figure out how long of a straight I need before I return with my bend and we'll go cut that next. Okay, so since we don't have a way to actually figure out what angle we need, I'm test fitting this. And so I'm gonna mark where I think I need to cut it with this handy sewing tape so it gives us the flexibility to go around a bend. And since this is a tight radius bend, I know it's three to one outside to inside. So I'll mark the inside. And I can also use this sewing tape as a wrap around to give me a line to cut with the zip disc. And then just use my Sharpie line as a guide when I'm cutting it. So now I have a line that I can follow to get the angle that I'm hoping is perfect. And then I'll transfer my marks onto the other 90 since we're coming up off the turbo and then returning back down to, to horizontal, we should be able to have the top one be a copy, but we'll cut it and then we'll test fit it. And if we need to, we could always adjust it with the sand. same and we'll test fit it up here we'll basically duplicate this angle off of the turbo which is horizontal and we're going to come up and then return with the same angle so that we hopefully get back to horizontal as we come into the heat shielding to start the x-pipe so why are x-pipes necessary for uh to, to make power well truly on a v8 like this which is a flat crank V8, you shouldn't need one, mm -hmm. uh, but we find they still sound better with some crossover of the sound. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because of some of the canceling of the frequencies yeah. is what you hear. Mm -hmm. So it, we just find that it sounds better. And to be honest, on the huge horsepower builds, you can have more power with straight pipes, mm -hmm. but they sound a little bit like a tractor down low. Yeah. Yeah. So it's one of those things you could give up maybe 10 horsepower for a sweeter sound. Mm -hmm. And on a car that makes a thousand horsepower, that's generally worth it. Nice, so that's that piece. This four inch is awfully tight in here. We're gonna make it work. Okay, so we've got the downpipes in place. We still have to do the hangers, uh, so we'll do that soon. But I'm just starting to mock up the center portion of the X. So I'm just working on the rotation of these two bends to try and line everything up center. And then I'm just trying to measure between the hangers to make sure we're really close to center. We're about an eighth of an inch right now. So I still have to move over slightly. 
So we'll work on some rotation and then probably shorten that leg up and then we'll start working on our measurements for the other side. And then we have the tip mocked up already, sort of where we think it needs to be as it basically has to float as it mounts to the exhaust. So I'm using that as my guide as to where I'm gonna tie the exhaust back in to point into this giant tip. So the tip will be bolted to the exhaust, but the exhaust will just kind of shoot into the giant hole. And that's it. So we're wiping it down with some acetone to uh, try to get any contaminants off the surface. If there's less impurities on the surface, we'll have a higher purity weld. So we're purging the uh, interior of this tube weld here with the TIG Aesthetics purge plug. So it's taking gas from the bottle, diffusing it out and pushing the atmosphere out so that hopefully we get a nice clean weld inside. Unfortunately, we are really close to the weld so we're probably gonna burn this a little bit, uh, but everything should still be okay. That's it, so we fit in here good enough now that I'll go and prep and do these two welds and then we can be taped just like we are on this side. We'll double check to make sure our X is center and then we can start thinking about hangers and how to get into this uh, P1 tip that we've mocked up here. Satisfying that is. You gotta be proud of yourself, man. I am. I am. This is it. this is fantastic. That's good. That's what I like to do. Which I really like. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like I've learned. I mean, I got a Harbor Freight welder that probably probably do this or 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 a little better, but you know, like within the time frame, it's okay. Dude, this is this is fantastic. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. This looks special enough. Yeah. How many different makes and models do you have, uh, do you service? I would guess about 25. 
25. Yeah. And uh, so you have like McLaren, Porsche, Ferrari, that sort yep. of thing? Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Yeah. We wow. do uh, some BMW products as well for the diesels. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And now you got, uh, you know, P1 with a, uh, a custom hybridless uh, setup. Yes. You know? So <laughs> now, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have this on the car for SEMA. And then uh, we're going to send this back to you so you can make maybe make a jig. Let's just say if people want to do this on their car, now they can. Um, and uh, we're also going to do like a little bit of a custom thing with the, the, the tip and closing it off and stuff, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Finish it off nice. But yeah, I think this is, uh, this is a good look. So That's front and center. When this, when, when flames come out, you wanted them to kind of come in a little bit because then they, they merge yep. and then they, they look really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and flames are definitely going to come out, not because we're doing a hot boy tune, but because this is going to be pushing out quite a bit of power. And that is also the reason why we got such a big uh, diameter of pipe. So we have four inch uh, down pipes going into uh, three and a half inch. Um, this is the uh, X pipe, right? Yep. Yeah. And uh, there's, it's, it's not really a long run of anything, so no. it's completely straight piped. Uh, we do have mufflers on them, little sp little spinning mufflers. Yes. Yeah. yeah, those are in front of the down pipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah in front of the... Yeah, so, yeah. so now it's going to be nice and quiet, you know? It's basically a Prius. Yes. Well, it's not because it's not hybrid, so... You know, yeah. Yeah. But it's close. It's close. It's basically the yeah. same thing. Okay. Uh, awesome. So are we, are we done here? I think so. Awesome, man. Well, uh, I appreciate it very much. Thank you for coming all the way from Canada. Real pleasure. Yeah. Uh, all his stuff will be in the link in the video description below. Uh, I want you guys to check his stuff out. It sounds phenomenal. It looks phenomenal. And the, the amount of work that he's put into this project is absolutely, it's, it's game changing. So uh, definitely go check him out. It's definitely worth it. Now, I hope you guys like that video. It is a little bit of a different format, but I hope you guys enjoyed the entire process as much as we did. Now, we have to get back to work on this thing. But if you enjoyed that, then hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and it allows us to do fun stuff like this. Thanks for watching.